Scientific notation is used in science to express numbers that are very large or very, very small. For example, the size of an atom, which is extremely small, or the distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is a very, very large number. Scientific notation, when a number is expressed that way, has two parts. The first part of the number is always um, a number that is between 1 and 10. Or another way to think about it is that there's only going to be one digit in front of the decimal place. The second half of a number in scientific notation is 10 to some power. The exponent on that 10 will be positive if the original number was bigger than 1. In other words, if you have a positive exponent, like here we have 10 to the positive 5th power, you're multiplying 5.95 by 10 5 times. If you have something that has a negative exponent on the 10, so if this were 5.95 times 10 to the negative fifth, the original number was less than 1. Or you're dividing by 10 a certain number of times to get a much, much smaller number. So we're going to look at a few examples of how to, go, um, how to put numbers in scientific notation on the next slide. So looking at the first number, it is much, much bigger than 1. We're going to move the decimal place over until we get it, the decimal to have a number between 1 and 10, or there's only one non-zero digit in front of it. So the decimal's here, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've moved the decimal over 8 times, so it'll be 7 times 10 to the 8th power. And it will be positive 8 because I'm basically taking 7 and multiplying it by 10 8 times. Another way to think about it, the, pot, the exponent is positive if the original number is big. Right, our next example, we're going to have to move the decimal the opposite direction to get a number between 1 and 10. 2 is between 1 and 10, so that's the first part of our scientific notation number. We're going to multiply it by 10 to the negative third. 3, because we've moved the decimal back 1, 2, 3 times. Negative, because this is a, the original number is smaller than 1. So the negative 3 is basically saying we're taking 2, and to get 0 .002, you divide, by t divide 2 by 10 3 times. Next example, we're moving the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So we'll have 6.5 for the first half of the number. That's a number between 1 and 10. Times 10 to the 5th, because we moved the decimal 5 times. Now we've got a small number for our fourth example. 1, 2, 3 times I'm going to move the decimal back. So that it's between the 8 and the 2. That gives us 8.23, a number that's between 1 and 10, or one number in front of the decimal, times 10 to the negative third, because we've moved it backwards three places. The number's smaller than 0. Next one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times we've moved the decimal backwards. That's 10 to the negative sixth. And the decimal is between the 9 and the 2. 9.2. Final example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I have moved the decimal backwards 23 times. That's 10 to the negative 23rd. The decimal point is now between the 6 and the 2, so 6.21 times 10 to the negative 23rd. Now it's your turn to try some.